I'm Larry Walther and this is principlesofaccounting.com chapter one. In this particular module we will look at the fundamental accounting equation which very simply is assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. Assets are the economic resources of the entity. Assets consist of cash, accounts receivable, inventories, land, buildings, equipment, and even intangible assets that have been acquired such as patents or other legal rights and claims. In each case they're presumed to represent a probable future economic benefit that's obtained or controlled by the particular entity. So those are the uh, possessions of the entity if you will. The claims against those entities consist of first of all liabilities. Those are amounts that are owed to others such as for loans, extensions of credits, uh, other types of obligations. The equality is finally established by owner's equity. Owner's equity is the residual. Another way to think of the accounting equation instead of saying assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity you could say assets minus liabilities leaves the owner's equity the residual interest. It's the owner's interest in the business also known as the net assets of the business. The character of the equity is somewhat dependent upon the type of entity. A sole proprietorship is a business owned by one person and the equity, the owner's equity, will typically consist of one owner's capital account. An extension of that form of business would be a partnership which is a business owned by more than one person. And the equity would consist of multiple capital accounts typically, one for each partner potentially. Finally, the third type of entity we would consider is a corporation. It has its ownership represented by transferable units of ownership called shares of stock. So that those shares are easily transferred from one person to another. Uh, many people can own shares in the same company and be joint owners, therefore, of the corporation. The presentation of equity becomes a bit more complex. It might consist of the contributed or paid in capital to the company or the capital stock. Uh, the amount that is the amount invested by the owners as well as retained earnings or amounts that have been earned over time but not paid out to the shareholders. Those payments out to shareholders are frequently termed dividends, the distributions of earnings from the company to the shareholders of the corporation. And so the fundamental accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity, is visible in a financial statement that you'll become very familiar with. That financial statement is termed the balance sheet or statement of financial position. It basically presents at a particular point in time on the balance sheet date, in this case on December 31, 20X3, it presents the assets of the company, in this case displayed on the left, and I've got a total there, you'll notice $895,000, the sum total of all the individual assets. The obligations of the entity, the total liabilities in this particular section total $175,000. And for this particular corporation, uh, you can see that the equity consists of capital stock $120,000 and retained earnings $600,000. Now that gives us total equity of 720,000 so the 895,000 in assets equals the sum of the liabilities plus the equity. So the balance sheet is a reflection of the fundamental accounting equation.